Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a case study based question which is a combination of circles, triangles and trigonometry chapters. Now this question has three sub questions. The first sub question is of one mark. The second one is of one mark and the third sub question is of two marks and it has an odd question as well. That is either you can attempt the first one or the second one. Now let us start with the first sub question. The discus throw is an event in which an athlete attempts to throw a discus. The athlete spins anti-clockwise around one and a half times through a circle, then releases the throw. When released, the discus travels along tangent to the circular spin orbit. In the figure, AB is one such tangent to the circle of radius 75 cm. Point O is center of the circle and angle ABO is equal to 30 degree. PQ is parallel to OA. Based on the above information, find the length of AB. Now let us try to understand the question first. Here an athlete is shown who is turning anti-clockwise one and a half times before throwing a discus. Now when he spins, he makes a circle and when he releases the discus, the discus moves as a tangent to the circle. So here in this case we can see AB is represented as the direction of the discus. Now the athlete's representation is shown over here, an equivalent figure. Here we can see that the radius of the circle is given as 75 cm. Angle B is 30 degrees. And the third piece of information they have given here is QP is parallel to OA. We need to find out the length of AB. Now let me take this diagram over here for easy reference. Now if we look at this figure given, we can see that OAB is a triangle and it is a right angled triangle, right angled at point A. It is right angled because we are going to make use of a circle theorem that is radius tangent theorem. It states that the radius always makes a 90 degree angle with the tangent touching it at the point of intersection. Now OA is a radius and AB is a tangent and point A is the point of intersection between the radius and the tangent. So using radius tangent theorem, now angle A becomes 90 degree. So OAB is a right angle triangle now. I am going to redraw this triangle over here so that it becomes easy to find out the length AB. Now triangle OAB is drawn, angle A is 90 degree, OA is the radius and it is 75 centimeter and angle B is 30 degree. Now since we need to find out this side AB, let us make use of the trigonometric ratios. Now angle B is the angle of concern. So the side opposite to angle 30 is going to be OA. So this becomes the opposite side. Now the side opposite to the 90 degree will be always the hypotenuse. And the remaining side becomes the default adjacent side. Now here since we need to find out the adjacent side, we do not need the hypotenuse. And the trigonometric ratio which uses the opposite side and the adjacent side is tan. So here let me write tan of angle B is equal to opposite side over adjacent side. So tan of angle 30 is equal to opposite side is OA over adjacent side is AB. Now here we know that tan 30 is a standard angle and its value is going to be 1 over square root of 3 is equal to. Now the value of OA is given as 75. So 75 over AB. Now let us cross multiply. That is AB multiplies with 1 and square root of 3 multiplies with 75. So we get the value of AB as 75 times square root of 3 centimeter. So this is the length of AB. Now let us move on to the second sub question. Find the length of OB. Now again I am going to consider the right angle triangle OAB to find out OB. Now here to find out OB, we are again going to make use of the trigonometric ratios. Now angle B is the angle of concern and the side opposite to it is OA. So OA becomes the opposite side. The side opposite to the 90 degree will be always the hypotenuse. And now since we need to find out OB, we need the hypotenuse. And the trigonometric ratio that makes use of opposite side and the hypotenuse is sine. So here we have written sine of angle B is equal to opposite side over hypotenuse. So angle B is 30 degree. So we have written sine 30 is equal to opposite side is OA over hypotenuse is OB. Now sine 30 is again a standard angle and its value is 1 over 2 and OA is 75 over OB. Now again cross multiplying OB multiplies with 1 giving us OB. 
and 2 multiplies with 75. So we get the value of OB as 2 times 75 which is 150 centimeter. So this is the value of or the length of OB. Now let us move on to the third sub question. Find the length of AP. Now to find the length of AP, let us consider the lengths of AB and length OB. Now I have already written their values which we had got in previous parts of this question. Now once we have written those values, let us focus on the point Q. Now here, the total length OB is 150 cm and the length of OQ is going to be 75 cm because OQ is the radius of the same circle and the radius of the circle is 75 cm. So OQ also becomes 75 cm. Now to find QB, we are going to subtract OQ from the total length OB. So here we have written the length of OB is 150, length of OQ is 75 because it is the radius. So QB will be equal to total length OB minus the radius OQ. So 150 minus 75 also gives us the value of QB as 75. So this is also going to be 75, which means Q is the midpoint of OB because it divides the total length OB into two equal halves. So here we have written Q is the midpoint of OB. Now OA is parallel to QP, it was given in the question. And Q is the midpoint of OB, so P becomes the midpoint of the line AB. So here we can write the length of AP is equal to half of the length AB. So here we have written, hence the length of AP is half of AB. And the value of AB was 75 square root of 3. So length of AP will be 75 root 3 over 2 centimeter. So this is the length of AP. Now let us move on to the OR sub question. Find the length of PQ. Now to find out the length of PQ, let us consider the triangles PBQ and triangles ABO. So let me redraw these triangles over here. Now here since OA is parallel to QP and they are drawn on the same tangent, angle A will be equal to angle P and both will be 90 degrees and the length of the side OA is 75 centimeter and angle B is 30 degrees. Now let us see if the triangle PBQ and triangle ABO are similar or not. I have written here that they are similar by AA criterion. Let us see how. Now in these two triangles that is PBQ and ABO, angle A is equal to angle P is equal to 90 degree. So one of the angles from both the triangles have become equal and angle B is a common angle between these two triangles. So by angle angle similarity criterion, we can say that these two triangles are similar. Now once we have proved that these two are similar, let us write down the values of the sides we have got. So OB is equal to 150 centimeter and in the previous question we had found that QB is equal to 75 centimeter because OQ is the radius, it will be 75. So total length OB minus the radius OQ will give us QB. Now once we have got these values, I am going to split up the triangles and redraw them over here. So redrawing the two triangles over here. So you can see triangle QPB is drawn over here and QB value is 75 centimeter. Similarly, the larger triangle OAB, value of OA is written and value of OB is written and angle B is 30. Now since these two triangles are similar, the ratio of their corresponding sides will be proportional. So here I have written PQ over its corresponding side AO is equal to QB over its corresponding side OB. Now since we need to find out the length of PQ over here, let us keep PQ as it is over the value of AO is 75 is equal to value of QB is 75 over the value of OB is 150. Now here let us take 75 on the other side of the equal to sign. So we get PQ is equal to 75 times 75 over 150. Now 75 1 times is 75 and 75 2 times is 150. So we get the value of PQ as 75 over 2 centimeter or you can change it to decimals as well. Now I'm going to keep the answer as a fraction that is 75 over 2 centimeter. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video and if you found this video useful then check out this playlist where you'll find more examples of this kind. And if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.